everyone and welcome to this month's unit, Believe in Your Magic. So when I was encouraged by Spirit to create this particular topic for this month and a number of different beings stepped forward wishing to offer their guidance on this topic I started having a lot of ideas, especially because this first week of December is left largely open. It is left open for all of us to have a period of exploring what our magic is. It is left open for us to celebrate our magic. It is left open for us to look back and see how far we have come, whether we just look back this year or we look back through our whole life up till now and we just acknowledge what we have done, how we have done, and that we're still here, we are here, and that there's still so much more to come and we may have no idea where we are going or we may know exactly what we are doing next. Whatever the case may be, we're all on an adventure. We're all exploring ourselves, coming to celebrate ourselves more, coming to decide what is our next step going to be, thinking about our next step, dreaming about our next step, taking action toward our next step. And this month is all of those things in one big ball. When I was thinking about what to talk about in this introduction, I found myself going down a little bit of a rabbit hole. That's where spirit saves me. Really, really, really does. <laughs> because anytime I need to just talk myself, I go down such a rabbit hole. And you should have seen my wall. It was covered in all sorts of colored sticky notes of ideas. And I had pages full of all sorts of different highlighter colored sections and arrows and labels, just trying to think and brainstorm about this whole topic and how it related to me, because this is a huge topic. It's about ourselves, about who we are. That is our magic. It is our identity. It is our creation ability. It is what creates not only what is within us, but what is without us as well. It's a huge topic. But, thanks to Spirit again, they pointed me in the direction of the book that has been the singularly most influential book in my life that is not the Lord of the Rings trilogy. It is also the only other book that I read once every single year since I was in grade 11 and my English teacher came up to me after class one day with this book in hand and said, Alyssa, you should read this book. You will really relate to the main character, I think. I want you to read this book. And then I was encouraged to write an essay on the book. But the point was, I had this book just plopped in my lap and told, okay, read it. And at first I was skeptical because it was a real world book. Yes, I immediately saw similarities and I immediately was like okay I can see why this teacher is dropping this book in front of me but as I started reading the book I started really really relating to the main character and it has been a book that has really influenced a lot of choices I have made a lot of things that I have done in so many different ways and in so many different layers and levels and it was also the book 
that kickstarted my own belief in my inner magic. Because until I was in grade 11, I didn't really have a lot of belief in myself. I didn't know who I was at that time either. Who really does know who they are when they're in grade 11? <laughs> That's kind of the starting point. So that was the starting point for me for beginning my journey in just exploring who I was, what my inner power was, and where anything was going. And the reason why this book relates to this topic has to do with a particular quote that comes actually word by word from the script of the play. Yes, there is a play version of this book and it is amazing. I have seen it about seven different times. <laughs> yes, I'm a little obsessed with the story. So what is this book? It is The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. And the quote that comes specifically from the play version is, if I can go to London, I can do anything. If I can go to London, I can do anything. And this quote really encapsulates what this month is about. It is about acknowledging that you have done many things. You can pick specific things. You can go through and make a whole list and you can tell yourself or you can write down if I can go to X and Y or if I can do X and Y, I can do anything. Do whatever you want with that. You don't even have to do that. My point is that this quote, that idea of if I can do X and Y, I can do anything, or if I can go to X and Y, I can do anything, is what everything about being here is ultimately about. It's about this whole journey, this whole experience, this whole exploration of ourselves. And just like the character in this book, who, when he goes to London, his journey is an absolute mess. It is not tidy, neat, simple, organized. It's a total mess. It's a bit of a disaster, honestly. But the point is that he made the decision that despite certain challenges standing in his way, he had questions that he wanted answered. And to get those questions answered, he had to go to London. So he made the journey to London and he got to London. And when he got to the people to whom he asked the questions and he received answers, the answers were also absolutely messy and they didn't fit neatly into nice, tidy little boxes. They were not the neat pattern of prime numbers. They were messy. But that's the point. That was the ultimate point of this whole book, too, was the acknowledgement that life is messy. And as much as some of us need to put it into boxes and make it organized, and there has to be particular structures and designs to everything, that's not really living, that's not really experiencing, and that keeps you in those little boxes and those little structures, and pushing yourself out of those, exploring out of those, just trying, just putting a little toe outside of a box and dipping it in the water, breaking that box open, is enough to show to yourself, hey, look, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. And you can break out a little bit further and you can explore a little bit further. I know 
all of you have absolutely had experiences like this probably multiple times. I know I definitely have, especially since that day in grade 11 when I first was given this book to read. And so, I want to challenge all of you this week to spend some time looking back through all the things that you've done in your life through just even this year. Whether you would put them on the spectrum of good or put them on the spectrum of bad, they're all on this whole curve. They're all part of this curve that is your life, that is your experience, that has fed into who you are today, whether they are specific beliefs that have made you who you are, or their experiences that have created a belief that have formed you into who you are, or who you were, or who you are becoming. There are so many different factors that are around us in our day-to-day -day life that feed into our identity, that feed into, therefore, our inner magic. And I challenge you guys to explore it this week. And if you want to have a go at using some of the prompts that are in the workbook that will be attached for downloading underneath this introduction, or if you want to delve into the Spotify playlists that I've created, whether you want to sit down and free journal to my photographs in the workbook or the songs on the playlists or just listen to the things, just look at the things, whatever you want to do. Even if you want to just go use some of your own music or maybe you want to look back through some of your own photographs and then write, draw, think, meditate, go for a walk, and just celebrate who you are and all that you have accomplished so far, all that has gone into who you are, whether it sits on that spectrum side of good or bad, it's all experience, it's all wonderful. And if you have the time, look forward into what is coming in the new year? What do you want to come in the new year? Where do you want to go in the new year? What are your plans for the new year? It's 2020. That's a pretty amazing number. It's going to be a really, really special year. So what do you want to challenge yourself to do in 2020? And whether you know or not, think of just one step, just one thing that you could do because all an adventure takes is one step. It takes one decision like because this character in this book went to London, I am going to literally go to London and I'm going to literally make myself go to London so that I can prove that I can do anything. That's by the way, me. I, a couple years ago, was inspired by this book <laughs> to make myself actually go and move to London and live in London for a couple of years just to prove that yes, guess what? I can do everything because sometimes I take things very, very literally. You guys do not need to do that. This is entirely metaphorical and can remain totally up in your mind. But this month, if you happen to be traveling anywhere, take that as an opportunity to remind yourself that hey, look, I am managing to get myself from point A to point B. Yes, yay me. <laughs> Even if it's a physical point A, point B, or if it's that metaphorical one. <laughs> Just have fun this month and explore. And for the little bit of structure that is in this month, Again, there is the workbook with photographs that I've taken over the years, along with a number of prompts. 
And there's two Spotify playlists, one of instrumental music, one of vocal music. And you may use those however you wish. You can combine them together. And every Sunday there will be channeled guidance from a different being who has said they will step forward to offer their thoughts on this topic. So next Sunday I will be channeling guidance from Archangel Sandalfin. Then the Sunday after that, I'll be channeling guidance from the dwarves. Then the Sunday after that, I will be channeling guidance from Archangel Gabriel. And then the last Sunday of December, I will be channeling guidance from the fairies. So, with that, I wish all of you a wonderful, exciting adventure this month. After all, if I can go to London, we can all do everything. <laughs> if you can go to, do, or be, whatever it is that you are, you can do anything. So, double high five to all of you <laughs> as we set off on this celebration, this exploration, this journey for the last month of the calendar year. So until next Sunday, happy adventuring and goodbye for now.